Hello guys and welcome to my Hobby King Swamp Dog review. Let's start in the middle with the battery slash ESC servo receiver compartment. Yeah, let's start with the first mod. Um, this is what you not need. Yeah, it's uh, the black cover plate and it goes like that and um, take it and throw it away right into the trash because it's quite useless and space consuming. First mod done. In the second mod these posts on the left and right trimmel them off and tape the holes properly. Yeah? Um, the keyword is properly yeah? because you don't want uh, water inside. Next thing replace the stock screws the really fine stock screws for the back and the front posts with M2 screws. Yeah? Really, really important. Yeah, um, next thing put the servo on the back, yeah? um, on these posts here, yeah? and because it's uh, so much better. The response is faster and um, the throws are uh, more and um, the rod is also shorter and um, the end tour of the servo is um, less. Uh, because in the stock position which is here the, the rod goes right through the sole and through this hole here. Yeah? I hope you can see everything and uh, that causes uh, a big amp draw and my first servo, the stock servo, burned out because of this problem. Yeah, so far um, to the mods I did on a Swamp Dog. Next thing, um, electronics. Yeah? This guy here, the receiver is a T2M Pirate um, XDR. Receiver from a car. I think this is the smallest EZ run or easy run. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yeah, with reverse. Yeah, really important in my opinion. Um, yeah, nothing special inside here. Um, the battery is uh, free cell 2200 in the most cases. Yeah. But you can also use uh, 1300, 1500, 1800, yeah, um, up to 2200. Yeah, um, these two um, holes here, yeah, these um, out, out posts, yeah, um, outlets uh, are sealed with silicone and. Um, that's it basically for the battery compartment slash EC etc. Yeah, next thing, the motor. The stock motor, this is not the stock motor by the way, um, is okay. You can drive it on a free cell, um, could be a little bit more beefier, yeah, but it's okay. Um, but there are two things which are not okay. Um, the first is the stock prop. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, the stock prop is really horrible. Um, super soft. You can bend them easily like that. Yeah, um, crap. Yeah, and the next thing is the spinner. Um, the spinner is out of balance. Yeah, um, crap. Um, remove the spinner and the prop, and replace these two guys with something uh, something better, and everything is good. Yeah. Next thing are my two light mods. Yeah. Um, the LED stripes. Are powered by the battery, yeah, 12 volts um, in parallel. As you can see, here's 
here is the harness yeah and the top lights here yeah and these lights are um, lights from uh, Hobby King Nitro Circus one 8 scale monster truck and they are powered um, via Epsilon cable yeah like that um, directly from the receiver yeah what else can I say um, if you wanna get into the hobby into the boating uh, hobby let's start with something like that because it's um, relatively cheap yeah not super cheap um, but inexpensive and a lot of fun easy to drive it's really really lightweight I believe it's under 800 gram grams yeah and yeah really really nice and, and so much fun um, yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed the review thanks for watching and I hope I will see you next time bye